Hey, is this real? I can't tell. What's up? I have an album review this time. New album from the band Woven War entitled Honor is Dead. This came out um, October 21st. Metal Blade Records. Yeah. Uh, well, this is the second album from Woven War. Uh, the first since their self titled debut in 2014. If you, if you don't know Woven War, they. Formed from the ashes of as I lay dying, um, after Timmy went off and you know tried to do that thing, that's a big no-no. Uh, and you know, I loved their I loved Woven War's debut. You know, it's not an album that sets the world on fire, you know, but it's just damn good music to me. To be honest with you, I like it more than most As I Lay Dying albums. That that album is their debut is such a joy to listen to to me. It's just fantastic. Um, it's basically everybody from As I Lay Dying, but replace Timmy with Shane Blay of O oh Sleeper. Um, so they're back with their new album. Uh, what do I think of it? I'm torn with this album. To be honest with you. Um, I don't know if it's I I had such high expectations, but I also think this album is just not as good. It's there's a few things here. I think this album lacks just energy in a way. Uh it feels a little bit more choppy. The songwriting doesn't feel as fluid as their debut uh, yes, there are high energy moments, don't get me wrong, but their, their debut was really just fun throughout, you know, it, it just had a nice pace to it, this one is just like, let's play a riff and then chop it up, and then I'm gonna play, you know, this riff, but it's gonna have this guitar effect on it, and then let's do it again, but now I'm gonna sing this lyric, and it's gonna have a cool effect on my voice, it's just, the first track really embodies that to me uh with confession it's not a bad song but i'm like you know this is just a little bit too choppy to me i i, I don't know um that's one thing about their first album it just fucking flowed from start to finish it was great uh in and, and, and had really solid riffs as well solid riffs and solid leads now nick hippa and phil sugroso I always fuck his name up um, they've been doing this for a long time, man. They're a great guitar duo, even though Phil's no longer with the band now, but he did record this album with them. Um, they, they have written a lot of amazing songs and amazing riffs together. Uh, but I, I have to say that I feel this is probably my least favorite performance from them. Uh, in that, you know, there are some good riffs on here. Don't get me wrong. I, I really like world on fire that is my favorite riff by far on, on this album you know that that riff that opens up just completely smacks you in the face it's great um and then you know the title track i think is another one that's solid on guitars uh line in the sand is another one but especially the back half of the album i feel these riffs just fucking blend together so bad i mean you could just take one out and replace with the other and it, you wouldn't fucking notice in my opinion uh a lot of just one string riffs that just sound a little bit too much alike to me and and it's a little disappointing i, I feel these guys have always had great great variety in their riffs um and that's something that their debut had to me uh, but I feel that's one thing that just kind of holds this album back is that the riffs just aren't as standout as they usually are from these guys. There's some really good solo work on here as well. 
Though I have to say, you know, these guys always kill it when it comes to guitar solos, and and they do a good job on here as well. Um, I feel overall, too, the guitar just has a little bit of a different sound to it, which I'm not criticizing it for in a way. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it does sound a little bit different compared to, um, you know, Azalea dying in their debut. Uh, it has a little bit more of a grittier, sleazier sound to it, in my opinion. Um, then vocally, this album is, is another solid performance. Uh, I feel Shane uses a much lower, uh, register in his voice throughout most of the album. Um, which, you know, if you go listen to their debut and listen to this, it's pretty easy to tell in my opinion. There's also a lot more screen vocals on here, which I think in, in most spots really worked. You know, it just kind of fits in with what they were writing. Um, but I do, I love his voice. He is a fantastic singer. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm indifferent whether this is a better performance from him on here. Uh, Josh Gilbert sounds fantastic, as always. I mean, he to me, even from As I Lay Dying to now, he's always gotten better as a vocalist. Um and I feel they use him very well. You know, he's not in a, you know every song singing prominently, but when they do use him, it's great. Um, this band is an interesting band for sure. I I do really like what they have going for them. You know, they just kind of jam, and it's great. Uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing a lot more stuff from these guys. But I do think this album is a slight step backwards. I have to say. Uh, just my opinion, of course. Um, there's not so. There's not. You know, not every song on here is awful. I think the title track is one of the best songs they've ever written. Uh, I, you know, the verses is interesting, but that chorus just is fucking killer. Line of the sand is another one. Same with world on fire, um, and then compass. Compass is, you know, kind of divides this album in two, uh, which is a slower song. It's a great performance by Shane. Uh, I, I love it. Um, but yeah, I, th I just think the back half just blends way too much. And it's just not as interesting for sure. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Woven War with Honor is Dead. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.